All right, welcome back, everybody. I'm so excited about this. The solar eclipse is happening on Monday. The path of totality stretches from Texas through the Midwest into the Northeast, and a lot of people will travel to those areas to see the full show, but we here at home will still be able to see part of it right here in Florida if the skies permit and they're clear. So we've got Spencer Jones and Christina Schreiber there from the Orlando Science Center to tell us more about it. Hi, Christina. Hey, good to Great see you. To Thanks see for having you. us. Spencer, hello, hello. good to see you. All right, so let's start off with this. What is the solar eclipse for people who may not be kind of familiar with what it is? Easy. We got uh, just an alignment of the three things in space that we're always talking about. Run, one being the Earth. We live here, so we talk about it all the time. Uh, the thing Earth? that goes around the Earth, our moon, and then the thing we go I... around, our sun. Okay, perfect. So all right. We want to line it up real quick so we can actually show it. Go the ahead. sun right there is big and super far away, 90 million miles, mm -hmm. really far. Our Earth is here really, really far away, and the moon's going around. It, but when the moon comes just between us and the sun, that's when we're going to get the solar eclipse. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of a tilt, so normally the moon's going to go above or below when it's orbiting around. But and that will depend on who can see it fully as exactly. opposed to who cannot see it fully, the right? The perfect alignment of all three is going to cast a shadow across the Earth, and depending right. on where that shadow is, it's going to exactly see who is going to get that total eclipse. For this one, we got to go in through like Texas to New York, right. but we'll get a little bit of an eclipse here in Florida. Even though we're going to get a little bit of it, we're not going to get the totality, we do still need to stay safe. We need to protect oh, yeah. our eyes. So how can we do that? Uh, well, there's a few ways that you can actually do it. One is the obvious way, which I is have these. solar glasses. Mm -hmm. You probably do because we had an eclipse back in October. You may I have, have them, them from them. them. That's exactly <laughs> yes, it, right? Yes. Uh, maybe you have them from a couple of years ago. You want to make sure that they're still up to date, though. They can't expire. But mm -hmm. it's basically just a very special welding material. Blocks 99.99% of light. So you can look at anything and see literally nothing, even with the bright cameras here or yeah. bright lights. Uh, but when you look at the sun, yeah. there's a little bit of light oh, comes right. through and it stays yeah. super safe to look, you view for your eyeballs. So if you can get one of these best way to do why it is sure. it important that you do have something covering your eyes well concerned. the Sun is literally a giant plasma fusion fireball releasing so much radiation and light at all times and it literally cooks the whole solar system so it can cook your eyeballs It'll as well your, you well, don't want to you know, look at it good you know? reason to wear something over your eyes exactly if you don't have this uh, I know that there's some things that you can make yep. which would be such an amazing project for the kiddos to exactly. get involved in there are so many cool ways to actually view the eclipse there are things like uh, the Binoculars you can't buy. These are solar binoculars, mm -hmm. so they're extra safe, the same kind of stuff. But if you want to build stuff at home, you can do that as well. One of the easiest ways is just grabbing a colander. Is this a colander? It's just a colander, yeah. So you can go to the kitchen, pick one up, hold it outside, and what's going to happen is the sun, when it's, you can do this right now in the middle of the day, and you'll yeah. see little suns on the ground. You'll see shadows basically go through these little pinholes. During the eclipse, you'll see the actual carve of the sun through those pinholes as well, and you can even do this with your hands. So the easiest way is do this, cross your fingers, mm -hmm. make little tiny holes. You can create a shadow on the ground and that's going to okay. actually create so that I'm pinhole I'm so sorry, experience. so I would take this colander and actually put it over? You No, know, just on the, you're creating a shadow, so the sun's so up you here. Be, and then you'd look at it through the, okay, I got you. You'd look the ground to, to create the so shadow So then you'd look itself. at the ground and you'd be able to see what you need so to this see. Is, got exactly, it. Exactly, a pinhole viewer, but you can enclose that to get an even sharper image. So okay. this right here is something you can actually make. It's super simple. It's a cereal box. It's we all have cereal boxes exactly. at home. We've got foil on the top, a tiny little dot right there. Okay, kind of pinhole. all right, let's show our camera there. Perfect. So you would put this over here. Okay, got it. That's our pinhole right there mm -hmm. and then this is going to enclose the image so we can look inside there and create kind of a shadow box that's going to allow us to see it in even more detail a little bit crisper of an image and right. so this is called a pinhole viewer very easy to make there's specific instructions on our website osc.org go there you can check out our pinhole viewer very very easy to make it very, i love that one that's fun yes and if okay. you want to get fancy you can go fancy of course we got a fancy is one this here fancy as well. well you know it's, the, it's <laughs> how a fancy are we talking cubic, it's, it's, it's like beyond my pay grade fancy uh, i mean or? it's about it's about our pay grade okay, I would okay. Say. Yeah. <laughs> right we got Amazon boxes at home. We've yeah. got crayons and things, and so you just kind of make a fancy version. Okay, so of, of that, right? Exactly. Okay, perfect. I love it. These are really good ideas, and I do want to talk before we let you go about why it is so important that if we can get our kiddos out there and adults alike to view something like this, because these don't happen that often. Oh my gosh, no. This is the whole time where we get excited about science, where we get to come together as a community and actually celebrate something that is so rare, right? And we locally get to celebrate it, because like you said, it's not everyone on Earth. Sure. People in Europe, this eclipse isn't happening for them. It's so it's us here in the United States that get to celebrate from this Texas to New York strip and everyone around it. We all get to love science together for this one moment, and we're not going to get it again for like 20 years. I so we're to do it now. This is the time to this do it for sure. Get your kids it. out there and your adults and you. We could go out there and experience it because yeah. this really is an awesome experience, and you can celebrate the science too. Ah, uh, well, you guys have done a great job, and Christina said she's only here to give the website. <laughs> so let me let her go ahead.
ahead and give the website. You, you want to come experience it Center. You can see it anywhere with these tips and tricks that Spencer shared today, but we're going to have really special solar eclipse programming. We're going to have some really cool activities out in the park. So you definitely want to go get your tickets online in advance because we won't be selling them the day of and we are probably going to sell out. I so bet you will. You definitely want to get your tickets online, osc.org. Book in advance and we can't wait to see you guys on Monday. Come on, great job giving the information. Thank you. Great yes. job giving us the information. You guys did amazing. We appreciate it. I'm going to be doing it, but I think I'm going to yeah. use these. Yeah. Easy way, right? Not